and welcome to the 23rd annual MG Raby Awards and recognition. I'd like to first start out by thanking our Board of Education for all of their support. Board President Mike Nance, Vice President Ben Wakefield, Secretary Ramika Graham, Board Member Brandon Bowman, Board Member Karen Burke, Board Member Shirley Deckard, and Board Member Susan Graves. Last year, because of the pandemic, we were not able to host the MG Raby Awards. But because of the importance of this award and the work of MG Raby, we could not let another year go by without honoring her and what the award stands for, especially at a time where this work is needed like never before. Back in the 70s, Judge Hugh Dillon ordered the desegregation of IPS schools. And in 1981, students from IPS began to be bused into the MSD of Wayne Township. That work continued until 2016, when students were no longer bused out of Indianapolis Public Schools to the MSD of Wayne Township. When desegregation started, M.G. Raby helped the MSD of Wayne Township to transition and to change and to grow and to learn and to be more accepting of all of our students. And although the discussions of eliminating racism may be new to some, it's definitely not new to Wayne. Our work has evolved with the times and it will continue to do so. We would not be where we are today in this evolution without the amazing M.G. Raby. Now, she's watching at home with her family, so we wanna make sure that we acknowledge her and all of her hard work, her dedication, and her commitment that has brought us here today. Thank you, Mrs. Raby. Recently, I had the honor to see the award winners and to share a special moment with each one of them by presenting them with a gift and sharing exactly why they were nominated. So as viewers, you now have an opportunity to see our winners and to learn why the committee chose to have them as a part of this long list of other individuals who have worked diligently to meet the MG Ravy standard. Now, on to Dr. Harris. Yes, thank you, Dr. Butts. It remains an honor each year to collaborate with our committee members to select winners for this prestigious award. Thankful that the MSD of Wayne Township has been on this equity journey for many, many years and continues to be committed to our journey towards equity. Without further ado, here are this year's MG Raby Award winners. First, we have Miss Christina Satinsky. She is currently on the district equity team and is dedicated to making a positive change within herself, staff, and students. She does not shy away from having those tough conversations about race with her peers. She corrects and educates students when she hears inappropriate language or racial slurs. She participates in our district's affinity groups that are focused on improving the relationships and interactions between various races and ethnicities. Ms. Satinsky constantly seeks out learning opportunities to ensure her pedagogy is culturally responsive. She has made people of color feel comfortable and safe enough to talk to her about feelings they have had over the past year with all the racial tension and horrible events happening in our country. Ms. Satinsky has shown so much compassion for her African-American co-workers and students. It has been so refreshing to see her dedication to eliminating stereotypes and hidden racism in the workplace and in her personal life. Our students need educators that are continually working on their craft, consider the population they serve, and are approaching education with an equity lens. So we are proud to provide this award for the MG Raby Certified Staff Award winner to Miss Christina Satinsky. 
Next, we have Mr. David Johnson III. Mr. Johnson is the lead sponsor and mentor for the Brothers of Another Color program at Lenhurst Seventh and Eighth Grade Center. Mr. Johnson's steadfast leadership over the years has continued to elevate this program to a unique status in the MSD of Wayne Township. Lenhurst's Brothers of Another Color is a program that was established within Wayne Township in 2010 in order to promote academic achievement, healthy relationships, and collaboration amongst African American, Latino, and other underserved male subgroups. Brothers of Another Color provides a source of fellowship among underserved male subgroups, Wayne Township staff, and community members. Mr. Johnson provides positive behavioral and social modeling and helps foster an environment for students to create a co-peer support system. Mr. Johnson stresses the importance of leadership, fiscal responsibility, mentorship, and a commitment to community in his daily interactions and lessons in the Brothers of Another Color impact period. Mr. Johnson creates a culture of hope and belief in the capabilities of the young men he mentors into finding their passion. He addresses the unfounded stereotypes of various demographics and has a group of student leaders that disrupt these stereotypes daily. He has built a college going culture and brings in presenters to share life experiences with members of Brothers of Another Color. Under his leadership, members have represented the student body on interview committees, STEM committees. They have served as ambassadors and various other high school and middle school leadership groups. The program and Mr. Johnson's leadership augments the leadership skills and potential which are already present in each student and helps them navigate toward reaching their full potential academically, socially, and morally. So here we are proud to present another MG Raby Certified Staff Award winner award to Mr. David Johnson. Next, we have Ms. Tracy Blewett. Tracy Blewett is a tremendous member of the Stoutfield family who clearly exemplifies and mirrors the tremendous works of M.G. Raby. As a dedicated teacher who took on the challenge of teaching virtually to our Wayne at Home students. When working with students, Ms. Blewett provided her students with insight, knowledge, and perspective. She holds lunch groups for discussions on the way we should treat each other and often has deep conversations with students while on lunch duty. It's often those small group or one to one conversations that she has with our students where we see the largest impact. Ms. Blewett listens to her students and their parents. She then strives to inform them of multiple perspectives for the goal of promoting equity and acceptance. Within the curriculum, Ms. Blewett asks tough questions such as, who's telling the story? Where are the black people or marginalized people in this time period or place? How does this affect our larger understanding of history and how we live our lives? What innovations did black people or marginalized groups contribute at this time. Ms. Blewett has been a strong influence on her administration as well. She's willing to engage in critical conversations, willing to ask tough questions, willing to share her perspective and readings in an effort to help our school learn and grow. Mrs. Blewett's ability to choose and share high quality text allowed administrators to use such text for a building read aloud. 
as she shifts to another school in the district this year. Her school has expressed how much they will truly miss her presence, perspective, and what she provides to students, families, and staff. In a conversation with the parent, the father shared, I wish I had a teacher like her when I was growing up. Another parent shared, I never thought of her perspective of something that would help my kids connect to my brother. We appreciate Miss Tracy Blewett and her driven efforts each day to demonstrate, encourage, and promote equality and acceptance while pushing for the elimination of racism, stereotyping, and discriminatory practice. It gives us another great honor to be able to give this award to Mrs. Tracy Blewett for the M.G. Raby Certified Staff Award winner. Thank you, Ms. Blewett. Next, we have Ms. Angela Barnes. Mrs. Angela Barnes is a black woman and frankly, she is one of the most inspiring educators and individuals. Mrs. Barnes increased levels of her colleagues understanding that racism in the United States is something that blacks must wrestle with every day of their lives. She taught a colleague that refusing to even bring up the subject can make that individual seem selfish and uninformed. Not talking to friends and family about racism communicates that you're not interested in their life experiences. By refusing to listen or have a conversation, you are essentially communicating that your friend's lived experience is not valid. Angela is proud of her culture and her race. She appreciates how she shares her interests and the things she loves through suggested movies or readings, the sharing of events and food, and the stories about life through her eyes. Angela always sees the positive and guides all her colleagues to seek a deeper understanding of race, relationships, and how to best serve our students. Putting students first is one of the pillars by which Mrs. Barnes leads. She is a team leader, a facilitator, and someone who always thinks about the cause and effect of what she says, how she guides, and how she can make a difference and influence others to practice seeing situations with different lenses. She has provided humor during this roller coaster of a year. She has listened, guided, and talked. She has made her colleagues think, reflect, and even change some of their perceptions and perspectives. Colleagues are better people for having crossed paths with Mrs. Angela Barnes. And so we are proud to give another MG Raby Award to Mrs. Angela Barnes as a certified staff award winner. Next, we have Mrs. Sheila Stewart. Mrs. Stewart comes from a background of people who promoted social change. Her husband's family founded the Indianapolis Recorder, which was established in 1895 as an African as an African-American newspaper and is still relevant in Indianapolis today by being the nation's fourth oldest surviving African-American newspaper. Mrs. Stewart start, stated her mother-in-law, another Mrs. Stewart, a newspaper reporter for The Recorder, was at Selma with Dr. King, who inspired her. Following that tradition, Mrs. Stewart leads the way in promoting education and understanding of issues related to race and ethnicity. She provides a firsthand knowledge of life as a woman of color in even more discriminatory times. 
She has been a guest speaker in various classrooms in the school in which she serves, discussing her personal experiences, giving overviews of how some of the issues that we now see have evolved from the time that she was growing up until now. Through it all, she remains steadfastly devoted to the principle of stoic nonviolence. Through her work at her church, where she serves as a woman's pastor, where she serves as women's pastor, she champions the causes of our time, working tirelessly to improve conditions in our city for people of color, especially women of color. She has been an inspiration and mentor to many. She openly accepts conversations and those who have an interest in discussing and learning more about race and culture, educating them on the many facets of an amazing community of people. It is a privilege to award Mrs. Sheila Stewart with the Classified Staff Award winner for the M.G. Ravy nominations for the 2020. 2021 school year. Thank you, Mrs. Sheila Stewart. And certainly last but not least, we would like to give our community leader award winner to president of the Indianapolis City County Council, Mr. Bob Osling. Under his leadership, the city has put forth great work as part of the Government Alliance for Racial Equity Initiative. Several special resolutions and commitments to ending racism and promoting equity in the city of Indianapolis through budget and hiring initiatives and much more. In 2020, Council President Osley and the council declared racism in Indianapolis a public health crisis and has worked to improve relations between IMPD and citizens and supported increases to funding our crime prevention, grant programs, affordable housing, and re-entry efforts across Marion County. President Osley was instrumental in efforts to get the COVID-19 vaccine to our teachers as an advocate for Wayne and the West Side. We are lucky to have a leader like him serving Indy Indy. So we are honored to give the MG Raby Community Leader Award to President of the Indianapolis City County Council, Mr. Vop Osley. That concludes our MG Ray B 2021 award recognitions. And again, we want to thank you all for joining us and thank you for listening to all of the reasons why this work remains important in the MSD of Wayne Township. Thank you, Dr. Butts. I turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Harris. Wow, what an amazing list of deserving individuals in this year's recipients of the MG Raby Award. Again, we'd like to thank everyone for your support and for viewing, but a special thank you to Mrs. MG Raby, to her family, and all who are watching and will continue to watch this video on our Wayne Equity channel on YouTube. If you know somebody who is eligible and who is doing this work that you would like to nominate, remember they must be someone who demonstrates encourages and promotes equality and acceptance, and who by daily example contributes toward the elimination of racism, stereotyping and discriminatory practices, and who has been influential in improving human relations. You may nominate those individuals by visiting our website at equity.wayne.k12.in.us. We encourage you to nominate someone today. Thank you, and we look forward to next year's recipients of the MG Raby Award.